Oh, you got me here. Hello! Yes. Base. I've been continuing to work on this. Um, we have one section over here completed with signs here which are all named, so uh, just in case you don't know what you're looking at, you can find out. You know the anvil again. Alrighty. So, what's new? Uh, we have this fella over here ready to be filled in. So I wanted to show you how I do these item sorting systems and um, go somewhere along the lines of this. Wait, what is this? Repeater. Good, good, good. Oh! Nope, come on. Alright. So now we have these repeaters. What we're going to do is aim them into these guys. These torches are what's going to lock, lock the hoppers. Get up there. Then we need the blocks that the torches are going to uh, to redstone activate. These guys, do I have enough iron blocks? I'll just pray that I do. And uh, yep, that's what the comparators also sit on top of. All looking good? Yep. So let's put those comparators in. Uh, sorry, hoppers in first. I'm not even sure if I have enough of these. So let's aim all of these fellas into our chest so that, you know, it goes in. And um, I'm going to place a block here for, uh, for prettiness's sake. I want to get andesite for this. Yeah, I like making these sequins look really nice for some reason. Okay. Um, and of course we need these to come one back. And then after we do this, uh, we're going to put these on top. Just putting blocks on top of hoppers, again, it reduces lag. And we're putting these hoppers on top here. Now when you're making sorting systems, Important fact, don't have hoppers facing down into the other hoppers like this. Um, when it's the hopper that's going to contain your um, your sorting um, inventory. Because then it'll just go straight through no matter whether the one below is locked or not. You want them to aim into a, a separate block like that. Brill. Okay, this, is, uh, this line on top here is where the main line is going to come through and distribute its stuff downwards accordingly. And right, so now the repeaters there will lock and unlock the hoppers when they need to by altering the torches. And this redstone, um, which is three long, is what's going to come out of the com the comparators are going to affect this redstone, and that's what's going to unlock the hoppers. So now we just get the comparators. Come on, there we go. And we just place these down so that they pick the signal from the inventories of these hoppers. So, uh, let me just check in my other world just quick. What is the, uh, right, oak wood is the first one, so this one needs oak wood. We don't have any on us. Dark oak wood, what's that? That's th third from the end. So, uh, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Good oak, please, this guy. Alright. So here I have some flint called nope. This is my, uh, sort of blank sorting material. I put just a bunch in here. Um, is it actually five in all of them? Sometimes it lies. Alright, it's not lying. I get between five and eleven. Sometimes I do just one if I don't really care so much, but this is wood, so I'm going to reboot it soon. That's, never mind about that. Let's um, put our dark oak wood in here. And it should go all the way down until there are 45 items in here in total. So, four times five, 25. No, 4 times 5 is 20, plus 25 is 45. Brill! So that one's working. And, uh, yeah. Now this one is pretty much completed in terms of the redstone. Uh, this one is completed in terms of the redstone. Let's go have a look at this. Yeah, and um, this one takes all my uh, sort of building materials like um, anything which really was used to build at this. I put in this section over here. And uh, next what we'll be doing is getting our sea lanterns. We'll also be eating so we can actually do anything. We'll be getting our sea lanterns and putting them along here. Sea lanterns are not completely solid blocks, so we can just um, run these up here. And um, then the next thing I'll be doing is running some uh, quartz slabs over the top of this now that this section is complete, and I no longer have to worry about accessing the hoppers. Splendid! Instead of using an item sorter for other smelting stuff, I'm just going to run um, two hoppers from the lower chests where my coal and iron are, and uh, that's going to go over into the smelter. So I can just chuck stuff in these chests, and then they'll come back into the system magically or something. 
I better oh, do it soon because okay. I'm low on food. So, okay. This really is just a big sort of mash of different redstone things together. Also known as a base. And here we are. Beautiful. Ah! I've trapped myself. Right. I think I accidentally put some stuff in... Oh no, they went. They went. They did indeed, it looks like. Wait a minute, how's that going to work for you? You're going to want to have it be... Oh, you're going to put a filter underneath. No filters. Maybe. Well, then how are you going to keep items in your chests? Huh? You'll have a constant loop of items going out of them if you don't have it locked so that they don't leak items. Oh, these ones? Oh, no, the, um, the bottom ones are specifically only going to be used for the, the furnace. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, this one's for substrate, that one's for fuel, and... All right. <sighs> okay, I think I have this sorted. I just need a couple more hoppers. Uh, do I need a couple more hoppers? It seems like I... Oh man, I'm even more confused now than I was before. Okay, I just need this one. Spam. Now I need to check all of these furnaces for crap. Brilliant. Brilliant. This is done. I think. I stole a few hoppers from another part of the system. It's going to have to go put those back. But, if we get a bunch of coal and a bunch of food, I can finally solve my hunger problem. That, that works too. Thanks very much. I'm sneaky! I actually was leaving them all over your base, and you were not walking over them. Oh. Crap. I made oh, them lead crap. to the wrong ones. Oh boy, it's going to start trying to smelt coal. That doesn't work. Sure it does, that's where you get diamonds from. Oh yeah. Minecraft logic. I keep falling! Melting cobblestone gives you regular stone. Minecraft logic. <laughs> so it looks like I might have to switch these two around. So let's do that. Um... Okay, these fellas come out. There they are. Yeah. So I'll just leave it this way around, and coal can go to this guy, and iron can go into this guy. Uh, just so that the things on top line up with these things below. But yeah, I'm going to have to figure out some kind of way of mentioning how how these chests work. How the bottom one goes somewhere, and the other one goes somewhere else, and they're not part of the same sorting system. Hmm. And... Blam. Blam. Doesn't make that much sense, but... It, that's the way it has to be. I guess it can look pretty, if you look at it from here. Yeah, considering it's the smelting setup, there's a special arrangement. Iron, coal, gold. Okay. Yeah, I wanted the gold ingots and the iron ingots next to each other, but it's just that's not how it has to be. It, it can't be that way. Some things were never meant to be. <laughs> and yeah, Some because um, because yeah, this left one has to be smuttable items, and the right one has to be fuel in order for the whole hoppers to work back there. Uh huh. Okay. So now I just have to label these bottom ones, which means I'm probably. 
<sighs> I don't know. I guess I could just use different colored blocks. Yeah. I'll figure something out. Yeah, I'm gonna fix this melter before I use it for the first time. Probably a good idea. Well, I mean, it'll it'll probably work, but not efficiently, because there's probably all kinds of crap, like, bunging it up. Oh, wow. That's really way over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is where all that coal went, like it's trying to smelt coal. Hell yeah, you're trying to make diamonds. <laughs> Alright, now to test this thing out. I know all the individual components work, but I want to make sure that I can just do it remotely. So let's get back into the main area. More coal. And, um, food. Where's all the food? There it is. I want to know why you can't cook carrots. Yeah, what's up with that? Cook potatoes, but you can't cook carrots. It's probably, um, sponsorship from Big Potato. It's a conspiracy. Well, apparently that was all the food that I had. Um, I, I saw some steak go up the elevator. Guessing it's just taking a while for it to get through the Why system. Why did steak go up the elevator? Oh, that kind of steak. Okay. Cooked steak. Yeah, it's different. It oh, should it should come... be on that side. I've been looking over here. Oh, right. Yeah, it should come to this chest. Uh, Oh, it's not because the item sort is already in. So it's actually coming to this hopper instead. Yeah. Yeah, it's right there. It's stuck at four, though. Oh, unless it's just backing up. Are those trap chests? No, this end one isn't a trap chest. It's just four. Oh, maybe we uh. just have to wait for the next batch to smelt. The next one should be another eight, so it should go up to twelve. But why did you only initially get four? That's kind of strange. Now that I think about it, I do not know. I guess we could watch for more to come up the elevator. Because of math. I put a lot in there, okay? Um, True, the math is involved in one way or another. This is a little bit confusing. It could be pooling up somewhere. Yep. Still Your pig four. could be eating it. Wait, it could be in the hopper beneath, and that hopper is... Yeah, now that I think about it, that might be the case. Hell no, it's not. Nope. We only have four, fellas. Okay, it's working now. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was because the coal had already been in there? Oh, yes, it must have been. I think I know why. There's a, um, a comparator down here which takes a signal when, um, when the first furnace releases its first smelted item. And there must have been some residual coal in the system somewhere, which meant that the first one wasn't smelting anything. Because it uh -huh. was locked up from the coal. So, um, yeah. Okay, looks like all of it has gone through now. We should be seeing some coming through in the final hopper. I see him going up the elevator. Lots of them. <laughs> That's awesome. Alrighty. <laughs> so we haven't actually gone and seen this yet. Let's have a look. Oh, good. Our food. Finally. We can eat properly and have proper saturation with steak. Brilliant. Okay. I've done some optimizations, fixed some stuff, and now we are going to fix the issue of, uh, of me sneezing. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> All right, back to, back back to work and, and not sneezing. So, uh, this chest down here was for smeltable items, and this chest down here was for fuel for the smelter. And there are some hoppers back there. If I right click, there are some hoppers back here which take that stuff to the smelter, as I made earlier. And 
I need to solve the problem of how do I not make these... How do I make them not obvious, but at the same time not... You can't accidentally put stuff in there, which you thought, oh hey, I'm going to move to Hai's base and I'm going to put some stuff in his chest, yada yada, and then it just disappears forever and clogs up my uh, smelting system. Well, the solution I found is I'm going to put a chest on this side. Please. Can I not do this? I should be able to... Oh. Oh, there's a chest here, isn't there? So it has to be a trap chest. And, uh, that's not the solution. And in fact, is the opposite of a solution. Never mind, that's not going to work. I still have to figure this out. Um, I have a feeling I could probably just use, like, droppers or something. Like, something simple, which is a container of some sort. Oh, that really is a bother. Hmm. I'll have to figure this out at some point. Okay, we have droppers. You can put one here, and one here. So now, I just have to right-click on either of these droppers, and it'll go to the right place. Doesn't look particularly pretty, but it's not immediately noticeable, is it? Only really when you get close, which is, you know, kind of what you want. So yeah, what else is noticeable back there? There's a block there. That block could be darker, I guess. Oh well, nobody cares. Nobody actually cares. It's brilliant. It works. Great. I put colon here. Yeah, I can just access it like that. And then I can access this one too. Cool. Is there anything we need to smelt now? I guess there is. Um, I think I have some stuff left here. Yeah, I have some iron here and some coal ore here. So say I just want to turn this coal ore into, uh, into coal. I can just whack it in here. It'll go through, and um, that'll go and become coal. Now I need to figure out what I can use these chests for. I have no idea. Probably just... I don't know. I really don't. Just stuff, I guess. Oops, something went click. Oh. It's a trap chest, so it makes the dropper go quick. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. You can see there's iron going up there as well, because I've been smelting iron. See, so yeah, it works! Nine in the morning. It's finished. The sorting system is finished. Yay! Yes. Thanks for helping out getting all the stuff to the other base, guys. No problem. Well, those chests. Okay. So, um, okay. so which, hmm? which ones do we need to get out? Okay, so all the chests that actually have anything in them are down here in the PMM. Um, oh. Really, it's just sort of the big stuff now. I mean, I've got a few tools and armor left in here. Oop, watch yourselves. It's mainly just like uh, stone, netherrack. Do we need There's a lot to of wool. That, the ender pearls. Ender pearls? Um, not really. No, like leave those till last. If you have space at the end, then we can take those. But, oh, there's uh, yeah. a bunch of dirt. Guess I'll take mm. that. Yeah, and uh, use the ender chest Very if you are oh, that dedicated. But uh, yeah, thanks, guys. So yeah, everything from the space station has been moved in, and uh, that is awesome. And actually, I really should check the miscellaneous check the chest to see what kind of crap has come through. Okay, looking good. So, uh... Hmm. I do remember we put tons of diorite in here. Is it just not filled up that far? Yeah, it hasn't. Alright, let me fix these holes. Special guest, Tanner and Tommy. Yes, thank you guys. So I'm going to get 32 of these iron ore, and I'm going to chuck it in the water stream. Bam. So let's look in the middle. Come on. There it goes. Okay. okay. And now if we come over here, we should hear a piston firing any time now. Any time now. Hoppers, please. Oh yeah, I forgot they're incredibly slow, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, that's as quick as it goes, unfortunately. <laughs> Without oh. having water particles dripping down on my base. There we go. Oh. And, um, 
Yeah, that means that the furnaces are now going. So the iron should be coming up through the middle here now. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really cool. Wow, it's so awesome that it actually works. And this has taken like two weeks. Mm. Jeez. Hi, you. How would you feel if I like took all your hoppers out of your base? I um, used it for my uh, soda. Do you know what a flint and steel is? Yeah. I would craft up a bunch of those and use them. So hey, we're on top of the space station right now. Um, I just came off of the ELM over there. Uh, I was just getting some um, ice. Yeah, regular ice. I come up here to do that because I don't want to go all the way to the packed ice biome where they have an ice tray set up. And uh, yeah. Man, I'm here in the space station. I've been here for so long now, like since middle of February, and now I am leaving it. Suddenly. It, it's like... I'm not sure if I'm ready to say goodbye to it as my sort of base. I guess my beds are still here. I might keep them though, or I might move them, I'm not quite sure. Uh, these guys are talking about potions. Robbie on the server has ordered... like. Numerous double chests of potions from these guys, including a double chest of regen potions. This is like ridiculous. Like that's impossible. Oh, that's not the right letter. <laughs> uh, that's just impossible. So yeah, they're having to add a cap to how many potions can be ordered at once, just because of Robbie. Good time at Robbie. Anyway, speaking of potions. Let's go have a look at this room I just made. This wasn't even planned, it just sort of happened. Like, BAM! It looks a bit... Hmm, it's a bit crazy, but also at the same time, potions are kind of organic and natural and crazy, so I figured, let's go with some sort of natural shapes and use some wood. You know, everything else here is pretty much unnatural materials. And, um... Maybe you might change the positions of those lights, but I'm pretty happy with how this room turned out. And th yes, this is my potion room. Here we got night vision pots, and we got health pots, and we have speed pots. And yeah, it's gonna be really great. You just press this button, and um, potions come out of the thing. I'm really not sure how much stuff I've got left in here. Here it is. Yep, I think I have enough for uh, quite a few. Actually, damn, I really do have enough for quite a few of these. Let's uh, let's hit the button on these. And they'll start brewing up new ones. Yep. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, next is the enchanting setup, which is going to be absolutely ridiculous, and... I have absolutely no idea if I have the energy to pull this off this week, but... Uh, we'll have to see about that, won't we? And additionally, one more fact. Yeah, Endermen, they, when it's raining, because I'm in the middle of a plains biome where there's nowhere else for these guys to go, there's a singular hole in the middle of my roof to the outside world, which I used to get in and out using enderpearls. And uh, when it's raining, Endermen come in here in their numbers. Like, I get up to three or four of them at a time just suddenly teleporting in here and chilling out. So I'm kind of an Enderman haven um, number one in this kind of area. Which I find pretty hilarious. Also, pigmen and chickens find their way in here. I'm not really sure how. Uh, I guess pigmen come all the way from the portal. Yeah, well, they do. They come all the way from the portal and they end up in my sorting area. Like, they are very adamant on coming down here. Okay. So, again, a little bit of time has passed. Not that much time. However, I think the storage room is complete now. So, uh, we're going to go through this little tunnel I made. Very little tunnel. I might redo this and make it a little bit more depthy. But as for now, uh, I think we're done with this place. Again, continue to ignore the rainbowy thing. So, all right, it doesn't look that different to be honest. But everything's in, and you know I've I've done a few mining trips now, and. It's great. I can just come back and I press this, and it's like, oh, all the stuff comes out, and just like all the cobble in. Press this again. Done. All done. Now let's go up and meet our new friend. So this is uh, who I'm going to be naming Overseer. Ah, oh, bugger it. Uh, okay. Let's get me some Ender Pearls. Make sure this is the right one. 
Oh. Please. Sir. Uh, there we go. We finally managed it. Okay, so... Come on, get your stuff into my sourcing system, please. So this is Overseer, and she is a, um... She's a cow. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you're just doing your work? Yes. So, yeah, your work is looking after the items that come up here. A lot of times I'll be just chucking, like, 11 stacks of stuff in there, and I've done the math, and I think it's, like, between 11 and, like, 15 stacks of stuff that'll go through uh, within five minutes without despawning. <laughs> Excuse me. But after that, it should despawn. So, uh, Overseer here is just, um, kindly, uh... <laughs> <laughs> volunteered to come in and help us with that. Now I need to find some villages with name tags and trade with them so I can get a name tag for uh, for Overseer over here. Oh, yeah, okay, not the best name, Overseer. It's more of a job title. Well, I guess there's one more thing I can show you. So, um, yeah, I need uh, some potions for... Uh, give me a sec, I need to clear my throat. I am back. And hopefully I didn't do some crazy editing to sync up the, uh, the rainbow re effect between the two cuts. Please don't do that, future me. So, <laughs> um, I mocked up this little uh, potion room over here. No creative for this one, of course. I just went in and did some stuff. This is meant to be like a ghetto potion area, but I decided to make it pretty for now. Not sure if it'll stay, um, but oh, this is broken, so it's a thing. Yeah, this is where back where I mine. I went and killed another wither, got a beacon for mining, and uh, we got tons of diamonds now. Actually, I can show you. Nope, wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah, we got tons of diamonds. And I actually gave two diamond blocks away to King Tanner and um, Tommy for helping me out with the move. Funnily enough, um, just today, uh, on the ISS, they moved the PMM, the permanent... Uh, what is the word? Permanent something module. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, I don't know, management module or something. And they um, moved it to a different place in the ISS in Node 3, so we just got the stuff out of the ISS and moved it over to the base in time. Otherwise, uh, that would have had to be a bit, a, a bit nasty. So I'm going to have to move that on the ISS, and I'll probably do some sort of time-lapse video for that next time. But um, the priority next time will be to get the enchantment room done, because that is a big deal. We have Daredevil up here, our base pig. Never... Ooh, I can hear something. Oh, there it is. Good, good, good. Sorry if I shot you a bit close, Daredevil. And, um, yeah. Design complete. Moving on to the future things. The enchantment center, which will be... Oh, I need to figure out where it's going to go. Um, potions is on that. I'll do that another time. I'm thinking farms and stuff are going the other side of the portal. So, I'm Hayu. Thanks for watching. And ciao. And I said, hey, yeah, 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 I said, hey, what's going on? I said, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, I said, hey. What's going on?